hi everybody and welcome to the Friday vlog. It's about 11 in the morning, I'm at the shop by myself. Rebecca is still on her way back from dropping our daughter off at college. A bit of a quiet start for the day, but something cool happened. A couple of days ago, we received a message from a very upset customer uh, because I'd chosen to use Hermes as a delivery service and they were almost convinced that the um, the model, the RC car that they had purchased wasn't gonna, either wasn't gonna arrive or was gonna arrive absolutely destroyed and it was something that they really wanted so I think they were upset. Um, but I managed to remain professional and polite in my messaging um, and just explain that in my experience, it, you know, things have been fine, etc, etc. And, um, you know, the, the the communications weren't the nicest however once the item did arrive and indeed was in excellent condition on arrival because we packed it securely and safely the whole tune um changed and you know the really you could almost sense the relief in the message um and we actually got an apology message um for the the way they spoke to us um and and this morning they've also just left a really lovely positive feedback and it just shows that sometimes when people message you um, and communicate with you on eBay etc uh, they might have been doing so in a state a heightened state of like anxiety or being upset over something and it can spill over in their communication with you and it might not be a necessarily a reflection of what you've done um, so it's always important to remain as professional as possible I guess because if I had responded in a less professional manner I may have um, I may have lost that chance of getting that good feedback and in the end um, having a good customer experience um, that buyer will now completely trust us and the next time they want to buy something from us they're going to feel that much more comfortable uh, because even though they didn't behave how they normally would um, we did behave professionally and um, and in the right way and it's now built that trust so I, I'm actually really happy about that. My partner in crime has arrived back from uh, dropping our daughter off um, and looking rather festive today as well with the ho 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 uh, pug with antler ears thing going on so yeah, for, yeah for, 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 I think it's actually yeah. a French bulldog. French bulldog is it? It is. I think it's meant to be a French bulldog, no, not a puggle. No, no, no. It's a French bulldog. You're right. Uh, but yeah. So Beck, Beck, I think is in quite a little festive mood. I think. Yes. Yes, aren't you? Um, so we've now got some orders that we need to uh, ship, and it's actually a lot of the stuff that we've listed very recently. Um, mm -hmm. So it just shows the importance of getting more stuff onto eBay. Yes. Um, which at the moment we don't have masses of. I mean, we do have some stuff we could do. We just don't want to do it. That, yeah, yeah, I think that's, I think that's, that, that's what it is. That's the way it's so funny. Someone just walked past the door and just looked in, like, like what are they and we're, doing? We're standing yeah. here. They can't yeah. see the camera. They just think we're just talking. I want to kind of throw this out there and see if this has happened to any of you guys out there. Okay. Now this morning, bear in mind, I've just woken up. I'm kind of sleepy, and Rebecca here <laughs> asks me a question. What was the question? No, I'm not getting involved in this story. <laughs> you do it. Tell them what the question was. No. Tell them what the question was. I was doing my hair and I asked him, how does my bun look? I proceeded to stare at her backside and said it looks fine. I didn't realise she said bun, not bum. It was early in the morning. I mean, I just, I just thought she was asking me to see if her bum looked okay for some reason. I was like, yeah, it looks like it normally does. I mean, I mean, she was wearing jeans. It's not like... It was out or anything, but I'm just saying, has that ever happened to anyone else? You know, when when the missus asks you a question, let me know. Or, or the other half, whatever way it works, just let me know. Okay, so I'm going to run through what has actually sold on eBay that we need to package up and get um, posted out today. So the first thing up is a Nintendo Game Boy Advanced in purple. Um, it's sold for £39 exactly. Um, I want to say we accepted an offer on this because we don't normally price it um, on an exact amount. We normally do like £39.99 or things like that, um, stuff like that. So I want to say we accepted an offer on that, but I'm not 100% sure because I didn't list it. Zahir did. Um, next item up is this um, pink iPod Nano. It's a 16. 16 gigabyte fifth generation one um now this sold for 24.99 that was actually probably asking price um 
the next item up is this official Nintendo um, plastic clear case um, and it's got like the cases for the Game Boy games as well included um, that's all for $11.99 and then the final thing sorry the final thing are these set of RC tires I think they're one eight scale I think that's right um, and they sold for £18 um, for the pair now these um, doo -doo -doo. now these um, we did accept an offer on, on because I actually um, listed these I listed these for £22.99 and we accepted £18 on those so that's pretty cool anyway I'm going to get these four items like packaged up so they can go out today so over another shop update it's now approaching three o'clock so i'm gonna have to go and pick up our daughter from college it's actually gone surprisingly fast the time um we've not had many people in today i think the weather has been a bit iffy we had a bit of hail falling um we've only had about four customers in but out of those four three have been purchasing only one set of customers came in and didn't find what they were looking for so considering the 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 footfall of four customers and it's now three o'clock pretty much um for three of them to be buying that's pretty decent since the has been out of the shop i've had i've had about three or four customers come in and we've had a couple of sales out of that as well which is really really good um there was um a customer buying some gremlins and there was a regular customer that comes in and it, it, it likes quite a lot of the statues and i think it was a dragon ball z statue that he bought i think i'm not very good with dragon ball z and all of that sort of stuff so it was in that packaging so i'm assuming it is um, <laughs> um yeah so that was really really good um and we've also had a website sell as well so we will run through that with you in a moment and i just wanted to say um a big thank you to stephen i'm not going to show what's been purchased because um i know you did leave us a message and say you, we could mention certain bits but um i'm just going to say um thank you for your order really really appreciate it and we'll get that those packaged up and sent out to you right so i'm back from uh dropping off or, or picking up our daughter from college i should say and um beck has had a little busy patch in the shop which was really nice um and as well as the um sales in the shop and the website order that she mentioned from steven so thank you for that order again uh, we also have had a few ebay sales which is nice to see um most of it is actually used product the only new product that sold was this little Michelangelo keychain these seem to be doing really well for us we're selling these on eBay for $9.99 and they're selling quite well so we're really pleased and this was actually a, a job lot of stuff I picked up a uh, part of a job lot I picked up from a car boot sale it wasn't even a wholesale pickup so this was a nice sale I paid three pounds for this keyboard from a car boot um, it needed a good clean the keys came off it it had a good wipe down and clean it was filthy but because it's a nice little uh, mini mechanical keyboard it's got uh, red switches on it uh, we put it up for 35 quid it's a poker x it's not like a spectacular brand or anything uh, we put it up for 35 got an offer for 27 i'm taking that all day long 27 quid in the bag then we sold this power supply sinclair uh, uk 1400 power supply sold it for 12.99 because there's loads for sale and people are trying to get 15 and you can get 20 i don't want to wait i've got two of them to sell so we've sold one so then I'll, 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 I'll get the other one listed and final sale again i probably sold this cheap this was part of the rc job lot i got um that, that um joe was kind enough to send me from closet geeks um from down south from a car boot uh, already doing pretty well in profit in, on that so i'm kind of just getting cash out and more importantly getting space back um we had this job lot here i don't know if you can see a job lot of tires wheels um and like a chassis with some you know which, for, which is really only good for parts i put all that lot up for 35 quid it is a bargain because i know you could probably sell a pair of these um and get decent ish money uh, but i'm glad for that lot to just be sold for 35 all in um it's it's nice and it's gone it's just parts it's not worth much more and it's gone very quickly um in terms of when i listed it to the to, to it selling it was literally probably under an hour um so i'm pretty happy with that so those items that need to be shipped um along with uh, steve's website order so um uh, we're going to be working on that 
and um, otherwise I, I'm expecting it to obviously be a bit more quiet now because obviously we're into the evening. <laughs> One other thing we're doing is there's certain products that we actually have got a nice amount of stock, like a fair amount of stock of. One of those is actually this. Now this is a vintage Outcast vinyl figure of Big Boy. Um, so it's a Big Boy from Outcast I should say. It's a Grunts figure, which is like a vinyl figure. And I've got a stack of them and they came from the, um, the wholesaler um, and they were shipped out in these incorrect boxes. You can see the boxes actually meant for Andre 3000, but the figure inside the box is Big Boy. Um, so, you know, it's uh, it's like an error from the factory. Now, these are becoming a little bit more sought after. Um, if you will take your time and wait, I've sold these on eBay for like 35, 40 pounds. Um, and oftentimes they're going to Australia, they're going to America. Um, so they're you know they're they're going to pick up value. It's just obviously you know they're not like a a, a super in demand item. It is niche. If you're a hip hop fan, a '90s hip hop fan, early 2000s hip hop fan, hop fan uh, you'll appreciate this. Um, it is a collectible figure. Um, yeah, it, it's I just think it's quite cool. Um, and what we're doing is rather than just like hoping for it to just sell in the shop or just on eBay. I'm, I'm gonna start, and I've already done this, I don't know how successful it was gonna be, but I'm gonna start promoting things like this on TikTok, um, where I've put like a code on our website. Um, it's actually Big Boy 15 and, and if you put that in, you'll get £15 off of the price, which is £34.99. Um, so you'll actually get this figure for 20 quid. So we're making it like little deals like that, and there's a few other items that we've got like extra stock of, that um, I might do things like that with because I just think it's a cool item. It might suit the TikTok demographic. Um, you know, there's a lot of toy collectors, a lot of cool kids on there who are into their music and whatnot. And I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. It might be worth doing. And I might also uh, share like that post on like in Instagram and, and just to see whether it gets any traction. Speaking of doing like promotions and things online, um, I was heartened to see a comment from Steve Walker, um, who runs Insane Games in Wells, and they've been on their high street in their high street location for 25 years, and even now they get people walking in saying, "Oh, I didn't know you were here," and they've obviously over the years spent thousands on advertising. So it kind of heartened me in a way to to know that yes, this is a real uphill kind of battle and you really can't get disheartened there's a lot of promotion to be done and constant promotion because if you think about it even if you've been in an area for a while your demographics just gonna possibly grow up um, move out move on and then the next lot of, of, of the next generation of people are going to be moving into your area growing up and uh, you know coming into your store and becoming customers and then they might uh, move on you know might go to uni or wherever and then end up in a different town for the rest of their lives Lives. It, and, and it's like a cycle isn't it so you are constantly having to get your name out there just because you're popular at the moment doesn't mean you're going to be popular in a couple of years and just because you're not popular now doesn't mean you're going to be popular in a couple of years and the only way to be sure of, of getting like a consistency in terms of awareness that you are, that you even exist in today's uh, you know retail landscape is to constantly advertise I suppose that's why the big companies constantly advertise so um, it makes me just feel like you know it heartens me to be like yeah okay we're not doing anything particularly like drastically wrong or anything with our adverts or promotions it's just it's it you know it is going to be an uphill thing um, but even when we start it's so nice when customers are coming in and mentioning um, that they were just triggered by an advert or reminded by an advert or, or a post that they saw when they were scrolling their social media feeds and that's what prompted them to pop into the shop or to make an order on the website etc so yeah that's the kind of thing that really does um that you, that you do hold on to um when you're you know dealing with figuring out how to promote your brand in 2021 it's now quarter to seven i've just actually finished eating a sneaky dinner I had, uh, was it a place and chips? Beck didn't Easy have anything. Haddock. Was it? No, it was place. I had place. Yeah. I always order place. I don't know why, but I had a place and chips. It was a small portion of chips, wasn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. But it was really tasty. Beck didn't have anything. Um, yeah. She's going to get something later. Um, she didn't fancy anything right now. So it wasn't that I said, oh, you can't have it. No. No. Just putting it out. Because <laughs> I always seem to be the one eating. Uh, 
<laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> I, I did have a coffee and a twirl. A coffee and a twirl she okay, had, yeah. but yeah. I've, I'm kind of quite happy to eat when I get, get home. home later. I couldn't wait. I was, no, I was, you're a bit hungry. I was really. very hungry, and I get really and he, grouchy. He was really grumpy with it. As well. I get really grouchy when I'm hungry, you know. I get like really agitated. I need to eat, you know. I'm yeah. just have to eat. <laughs> but now I've eaten, I'm good. Yeah. So, um, anyway, on, I'm going to actually end the vlog now because I can actually get on and start editing it mm -hmm. because we're not expecting uh, really any customers in the last hour. No, if we do, we'll I mean, be surprised. We've, we've had. Yeah. Um, the local teenage yeah. girls in this evening which is really sweet they just they just they're all really telling like me shop. like how how yeah. whose mum i spoke to. to um and yeah like the conversation Lots you've of, had yeah. with their mums yeah. as so, well and it's like they it's, love the shop so they, they pop do in. love the shop and they do pop in quite <coughs> regularly don't they so we have yeah. those in this evening. but other than that we're going to just get on with a bit of ebay stuff because we've had some mm -hmm. more orders sell which is fantastic um and we're going to just um just wrap up here so I hope you enjoyed it. We will be doing live streams, um, like like the regular live streams in a couple of weeks time once we're back at home, but obviously yeah. working till eight in the shop and with only one proper chair in the office. You're you just, just going to have to put up with a yeah. random Possible. live stream. It's for me, yeah. Here. Here and there. And that'll yeah. be it. All right. On that note, on that rambly ending, bye. Bye. <laughs>